Identity and Access Management, also known as IAM, provides three types of roles that can be granted principles. Basic, predefined, and custom. Custom roles are a great way to help enforce the principle of least privilege by creating roles that have only the permissions you need. You can define and manage these custom roles as per your requirements. As a result, they need to be maintained by a user and updated manually with new permissions as needed. Before we begin, let's look at some prerequisites. First off, make sure you have the correct permissions to create and manage custom roles. Custom roles can be created either at the project level or the organization level. For the organization level, you'll need the organization role administrator role. For the project level, you'll need the role administrator role. After you create a custom role, you can grant the custom role on the project or organization that the role was created in, as well as any other resources within that project or organization. You grant custom roles the same way that you would grant basic and predefined roles. You can create and manage custom roles through the Google Cloud Console, the Google Cloud CLI, or the Cloud API. Today, we'll be creating a custom role at the project level using the Google Cloud Console. First, make sure you're at the project or organization in which you'd like to create the custom role in. Then, navigate to the Roles page. In this demo, we'll create a custom role at the project level. Click on Create Role. Now go ahead and give the custom role a name and a unique ID. You can also include a description. Launch stages are informational. They help keep track of whether each role is ready for widespread use. In our example, we'll set the stage as general availability. Next, select the permissions you'd like to add to your custom role. You can also filter by a predefined role. This can be useful for when you want to grant some, but not all of the permissions in a predefined role. Some permissions might not be available to add to a custom role. This might be because they're not supported or because they're not available for the level at which you're creating the role in. Confirm that all the desired permissions have been added to the custom role and then click Create. Awesome, we've created a new custom role. You can grant principles custom roles the same way that you would for any other IEM role. Just specify a user, group, or service account, and then select the custom role. Now that we've learned how to create custom roles, let's go over how to delete them. Go back to the roles page and click on your custom role. Then click delete. Be aware, once deleted, a custom role can only be undeleted within seven days. You can create a new role using the same role ID only after the role has been permanently deleted. This can take up to 44 days after the initial deletion request. There is a limit on the number of custom roles that can be created. You can create 300 custom roles at the organization level and an additional 300 custom roles per project. This is a hard limit and it cannot be increased. To learn more about creating and managing custom roles, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.